what's going on guys we are really really close to red river gorge brandon we're here i'm home <laughs> feels good so it has literally rained the entire day so far we took a wrong turn we pulled a jeremiah we got a break in the weather right now do you hear that nope still here rain mm. Mm. <laughs> yep this is a tough existence it is cold just trying to layer up right now. Yeah, I'm just trying not to freeze. We did it. Oh. I say it got down into the teens. I woke up once and I was shivering. I uh, layered up more. Finally got my body heated back up. I was shivering and it's like, it's like 7.30 right now. I haven't looked outside, but I know there's snow on the ground. I could see it under. Yeah, you can see under there. Oh, that wind is so cold. Wow, it really is. Oh, warmed up a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. Showing everybody the temperature. 18 degrees. Trying to get uh, some water boiled so I can have coffee and oatmeal. Of course, it's uh, so cold that the fuel doesn't want to burn very much. I'll keep trying. I know you guys can't see this very well, but... I, this shoe is like frozen, like completely frozen. I'm trying to get my foot into it so that it, the ice melts and I can get going. I'll keep working at it, but it is so frozen. Didn't get a chance to show you all the setup yesterday, but this is it. Brandon and I slept in this three-person tent, and he just kind of left his set up. I got the food hanging over here in that blue bag. Oh, I still can't put my shoes on. My, my shoes are frozen. Oh, it's just cold. It's 18 degrees. <sighs> All right, I gotta get this food down. We ran into a little snag. As you can see, I went back and I put my frog togs on because this wind will cut you in two. So the snag is, I hung the bear bag PCT style. If you look up there, it's hanging on this limb. And typically, you just, you pull this string and there's a little stick up there that's stuck against a carabiner. See that stick? Well, that cord loops over and it's frozen to the tree branch. I gotta get the food down. My coffee's in there. You know I don't work well without coffee. Well, I got it down. I couldn't wrap my hand around and get enough grip on it pulling down even if I wrap my hand in this. Plus, I've seen people break their hand wrapping the cord and then pulling real hard. So what I've done was I used the same knot that you use for hanging your bag PCT style. I tied this knot and I put that limb through there. And then I use that knot to cinch down and then I just wrap one time and I use that as an anchor to pull this down. I'm going to take this food and give me some oatmeal and coffee. Hey hikers, how you doing? <laughs> I was told to explain to you a little bit of how I did the fire here. So I've got one base log here. I'm not, my intentions aren't to have that to produce heat. It's a prop for my other wood, which I'm just gonna simply, as you see, lay it on top. It's gonna allow that airflow to end. One thing that's really important about creating a fire is always making sure you know where your wind direction is coming in from. So your fire, your wind's coming in this way, I prop it up. You're gonna wanna prop your log up to the side closest to you. So that way it's easy, easily accessible. Cause if you prop your log up on the other side, you're gonna have to reach across your fire. Oh, we're getting it. My little feet that are like size 15. Next time, I think I'll let Brandon make a fire before I get out of bed. Then I'll get out of bed and I'll just come put my, uh, I'll put my shoes out. That's wise, man. Yeah, I just gotta sleep in next time. Good one, if you're watching this, don't be hating on me. 
because all my friends always are the ones that build the fires. I know you. We're still hanging out at the fire, but mistakes were definitely just made. That would be the insole of my shoe, which wouldn't be such a big deal except like I literally, like two weeks ago, just gave 40 bucks for these insoles. I have one more insole, but it goes in the other shoe. So I'm just gonna walk out with this. It's doable, it's not such a huge deal, but. My tent poles are frozen together. So I have to go through and at every joint, I had to follow them. This trip is a challenge. That's for sure. It definitely brought some challenges that I've never faced before. Uh, but we're growing. Thank God we got this fire. Jeremiah, what do you say we finish up packing here and add another log to that fire, relax, and then get on our way? I think that's a good idea. Sun just came out. We're about to head to Hanson's Point and just enjoy the day. I think we got close to five miles total of hiking. If you include hiking there and then all the way back to the car. So enjoy the ride. Nice little warm up hike. Oh yeah. So many little thickets. A bunch of pine trees all grouped together. But we're almost there. We are almost there. Two guys walking in front of us. Those are the first people we've seen since before we even turned off to go to where we were gonna camp at. Brandon's carrying this pack right now. I'm slack packing because I know we're gonna pass back through right where we camped. So I left my pack. We'll be back there in like 20, 30 minutes. The wind is pretty wild, but man, this is absolutely worth it. Yep, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, absolutely worth sitting through this freezing temperatures last night. There's like a layer of ice on everything. So here in just a minute, um, Brandon and I are gonna head back to camp, pick up my backpack and hike the five miles out of here. I just, I can't get enough of this view. camp we stopped and got my backpack and I come across these and hopefully you guys can help me out I don't know what type of footprints these are I don't know if they're like deer or elk I just know that if they're deer they just look really big to me and I'm not really a hunter so if you guys would hit the comments tell me like what type of animal is this we have about, I don't know, around four miles probably right now of uh, walking to do. Unless somebody gives us a ride, right Brandon? Hope they do, that'd be cool. <laughs> so we're gonna keep on trucking. I think it's above 20 degrees now, so that's good. It's, it's mostly, uh, the ice has mostly melted. I guess from the sun hitting it and it's on rock, but still not easy trekking. Definitely better than yesterday though, because yesterday this is all just like a river running through here. It wasn't that cold, but it was still difficult. And as you guys know, the story continues. So let's just keep going.
Yesterday, this is where we took a wrong turn at and then added at least an extra mile, mile and a half, maybe even two miles to our entire trip. I FaceTimed my wife right here, standing in front of this sign. And then we just took off that way. And we were supposed to go over here. Didn't think a thing about it. I didn't even see this trail, probably. And I should have, because if you can see that over there, it's got that turtle on it. This is part of the Shelt Tui Trace, but it also has that diamond. That was supposed to be our blaze. You know, what marks our trail. Boy, that was a mistake. But here we are now, taking a little break. I'm going to adjust my pack, because I can't put my head back. It's no longer frozen though, so that's good. And then it's onward and outward. Quarter of a mile to Gray's Arch Picnic Area. The adventure continues. So cool in Red River Gorge, you always have like so many terrains that you have to navigate so uh, right now we're climbing down these rocks of course we came up them yesterday trying not to slip and fall on ice that would be fun but we've went through mud we've went through sludge we went uphill downhill the usual but it's not very often i'm hiking and uh you have to navigate so much like different types of terrain like this for instance look at this big sigh though I mean it really is just like the testament and a great way of just explaining that trip we made it that's a trip right there I hope you all are watching to this point because that was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life I second that I really respect I already did but I really respect mother nature Oh yeah, absolutely. Because that could have killed us. Easily. And a good thing that we brought all the gear that we did and we got that fire going because that would have been tough getting out. I mean, let me show you something. These, see how that's frozen solid? These, look at it. Look at that. Those are pants? Those are my pants. You still cold? Well, this no, no, I'm good. But this feels like the life of luxury. Once yeah. you get back, once you come out of the trailhead and you see the car, it's it's bliss. Yeah, it's like back to modern society, and it makes you appreciate what you have so much more. That's that's what I get from like every trip I go on. Oh, absolutely. And I yeah. love going out and experiencing nature and and backpacking and all that. <clears throat> but whenever it's done. You just go back to your normal life and you appreciate everything you have just so much. Like like sitting here in this car without the wind hitting you. Or like we can drive and go get something to eat, which I'm thinking Chinese. Chinese for sure. I think I, I wish I could have filmed more, but man, you, hopefully the I do a good enough job with the filming I've done and the edit that the video tells the story well, but it was really difficult. I mean, it was hard because I was filming in the rain yesterday, and every time I filmed today, I'd take my gloves off, and it was like 18 degrees, and the wind chill was like three degrees. Yeah. So, my apologies if I didn't do enough filming. Always next time. Always next time, man. You wanna get some food? Let's get some food, dude. Right, let's Mission go. success. I can't describe to you right now how my legs feel. I just can't. It's time to get some Chinese, though.
Are you hungry? Yes, starving. We can't wait to eat. Mm, let's get it. You guys know it's a tradition. Got to get the Chinese after each hike. You're eating a little bit more than Derek did when we got Chinese. We got more being cooked. <laughs> got more being cooked. Look at that. Mmm. And you always got to try the pizza because you never know.